Amen. Amen. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers, near and far, even the ones who have transitioned over, who have done their job and went to rest. But right now, we're going to focus on the ones that are here on today. Again, I say, Happy Father's Day. Thank I you. take this opportunity to thank my father, um, Rudolph Henry, who is in Jamaica right now. Wherever you are, Pops, if you're watching, I love you from the bottom of my heart. And he just celebrated a birthday, 77 years on this earth. Oh, Amen. Man. So he over the years, even before we were married, you were fathering my son. You were tutoring him. You were nourishing him. You were growing him. You were instilling him how to be a man. And for that, I am truly, truly grateful on this day. That's how mighty you are. That's how awesome you are. And that's why you are our number one father. You are a mighty king. The king above all kings. The great I am. The alpha is the old man. Father's Day, when it comes to the Lord, should be every day. We shouldn't be uh, just think about him more on today because he was the one who created us. But we need to appreciate our fathers even more on Father's Day. But I'm very thankful for my dad. My dad grew up in Christian home. And when I was very, very little, my dad made a commitment to the Lord God to raise me as a Christian woman. Thank you. Y'all met him. Yeah. He was the coolest dude. Oh, yeah. All right. I know. All right. Yes, God. Yes, God. He was not a fighter. He was a lover. All right. And I also like to give honor to my husband, who is Feel worthy, you may not feel right about it, you may not feel like you have anything to offer, you may not feel like you have anything to give. I stop by to tell you that God would not have blessed you with that child if you did not have what it is that that child needed. <laughs> listen, all I'm saying to you is God, your heart, God, listen, every way of a man seems right in their own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. It's your heart posture right. You touched somebody's life along the way. That you shared of yourself with someone along the way, with some man and some woman, some boy and some girl, and that, that, that you are a father in and of yourself because you have imparted and impressed and impacted the lives of people, and you are no a father than any other man in the room. Let me encourage you today. You may not have a, a child from your loins, but listen, if you imparted a prayer on behalf of a child, if you touched a child's head, if you bought one top pair of shoes, if you, if you talked to a child and said something that changed the direction of their life, then you are a father just like any other man in the room. Air in your lungs. I know you pumped up a car to get here, but let me tell you, if it wasn't by his grace or his mercy for his love and his kindness, you would not be here all today. So we worship the good, good father all today. Come on and give God another hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.